it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lazy natural hair routine and I'm using quotes if you're listening not watching the video. And I say lazy because I know some people you either just don't have the time to do a full wash day style and really do the most to your hair and scalp or you just don't want to. You just don't feel like you have to do and use a lot of products and spend a lot of time to have healthy hair. I'm just giving you a different routine so you can really treat your hair and scalp but it's going to be at a bare minimum I'm gonna be using only four products for my wash day to styling and a little bit of maintenance throughout the week and for me that is cutting it down a lot because typically I use four products on wash day for my pre poo shampoo conditioner and deep conditioner then at least three products for styling from leave-in conditioner oil and my styler and then maintenance throughout the week I'm using two oils or maybe even a spray for my scalp like a toner I just want to make sure that everything is good nice and clean so I'm using at at least 10 products from wash day styling and maintenance for many that could be a lot of products so this routine is going to be perfect I'm only going to be using four products a shampoo conditioner styler and then an oil just to make sure that your hair and scalp's health stays on point for the rest of the week I mean you know we want to have healthy hair so no matter the length of your hair no matter what your goals are, this routine is going to help and it's not going to take that much time, which is even better. You're still gonna get good results with minimal effort, so it's a win-win. So if you like to see this routine, then keep on watching. Before I saturate my hair, let me show you this 10 day old twist out. Yes, 10 days. I didn't even wanna wash my hair, but I'm trying to stay on track with washing my hair once a week. First step, I'm gonna saturate my hair with warm water. This is gonna help loosen up any tangles that I may have. Also get rid of some dirt, excess oil, debris, and I have resumed my fitness journey, so I definitely wanna get rid of that sweat on my scalp and my hair. Don't worry about my faces. I was talking to my daughter, Zanai, and she is a trip. For my shampoo, I'm gonna use Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen Line. I love the shampoo because it gives me a great amount of lather and you know I live for lather. Also, it doesn't strip the natural oils of my hair and I cannot stand any shampoo that strips the natural oils. And you can see my curls clumping together and I know anytime that my curls are clumping, moisture has been added. So that's a great sign to look out for. And I just separated my hair in half and this is going to allow for the shampooing process to flow a lot easier. You can see me, I'm just finger detangling with ease. And I make sure that the shampoo has been worked all over my hair and my scalp. After I make sure I work the good lather, I'm going to rinse the shampoo out completely. I don't wanna leave any residue because this is a very quick process. I still wanna make sure that I'm being efficient. And you can see these curls pop. That's how I know the shampoo is good for me. Also, it has great ingredients in there to help my hair thrive. Next, I'm using the conditioner from the same line, and I love this conditioner because it really helps to penetrate into my hair strands. It gives me that hydration that I need. I did apply a good amount, which I always do with my conditioners. I wanna feel my products in my hair, if that makes any sense. I just want my hair to be nice and nourished and conditioned. Because I'm not using a deep conditioner, I wanna make sure that I'm really coating my hair strands not only on the outside but also inside and if you notice I'm using my fingers to detangle I'm not using a wide tooth comb as I typically do this process is gonna be very quick we're just using our fingers and adding the products in shampoo conditioner boom 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 we are done so after I made sure that I did apply a good amount of that conditioner and it's penetrated in my hair I'm gonna put a plastic cap on while I take my shower and that was about 10 minutes don't mind me I'm just being silly with the night and you could see how well my curls are hydrated just from the using these two products and I'm rinsing the conditioner out completely. I'm not trying to leave any conditioner residue. This just helps with the styling process and boom, I am all finished rinsing the conditioner out. My scalp feels really clean and healthy and I put a cotton t-shirt on to help soak up the excess water. Now it is time to style and I still have some curls, more so in my medium porosity section, which is the back half. Now I'm going to part my hair for these twists. I will be creating five twists total. So these are gonna be on the bigger side, but nonetheless, the style is going to be very nice.
I'm creating a section in the back for the first flat twist. I'm gonna add some moisture back in by using my Mr. Bottle to mist a good amount of water. Then for my styler, I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Styling Lotion. This is also part of their Jamaican Black Castor Oil line and work that in my hair all the way down the length. Because this section is going to be pretty big, I wanna make sure that it does have a good amount of that styler so it can really hold to the twist. Then I'm gonna use my wide tooth comb just to make sure that I have combed my hair. My hair strands are nice and smooth. This is going to be impeccable imperative to have a really nice twist out and also for it to last for the week. And I'm gonna continue to two strand twist my hair all the way down to the ends. I have so many tutorials on how to twist your hair. I will link some down below. One factor I can't stress enough is to make sure that you twirl the ends of your hair and you have a little curl at the ends. This is gonna help prevent your twist from unraveling. I noticed that this section was a little bit too small because I'm making five twists. I'm trying to make sure that each section has the same amount of hair so that this twist out does come out really nice. And again, I'm misting a good amount of water using this Mr. Bottle. I just love these Mr. Bottles because they spray a good amount of water in my hair, not too much, but just the right amount. And then I can always add my styler or whatever product I'm using right after. And it just glides right into my hair. This is really good one with the moisture retention also while i'm styling my hair it's going to help with holds Fast forward, I have twisted the back section with three twists and they are so juicy. Now I'm gonna twist the last twist in the front. I finished twisting all of my hair and these twists look so juicy and the curls at the ends are there so I know that my twists are not going to unravel and the residue will dry clear. I'm gonna put my satin bonnet on while I go to sleep and let my hair air dry. Also make sure that all of your twists are in the bonnet. Fast forward two days later, the next day I decided to let my hair air dry and then the day after that, something came up and I just had to go in full mommy mode. But now I'm ready to unravel my hair and show you these results. I'm going to apply a good amount of the Shea Moisture's 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Finishing Oil Serum. Whew, that was a mouthful. I like applying this, oils especially, because it helps to subside a lot of frizz. These twists are on the bigger side, so frizz is going to be pretty much inevitable. I wanna make sure that I'm helping to seal more moisture in my hair while I still can, because my hair is pretty fresh. This is the perfect time. 
Okay, for some reason I wasn't filming while I was unraveling the twist in the back, so let me show you how I do so in the front. I'm just unraveling my hair in the opposite direction from when I twisted and gently pulling the curls apart. I don't wanna do too much because I don't wanna help create unnecessary frizz. I am big on definition and volume, so when I can maintain both, I wanna make sure that I can do it. So back to the back section, here is how this twist out looks. It looks so good, my hair is very moisturized. It's full, it doesn't feel weighed down. I'm just going to massage my scalp a little bit to help loosen up my hair at the roots. I wanna make sure that I can get some more volume. And to do so, I'm gonna use this pick from Pattern Beauty and I'm just gonna pick starting at the roots and lift up maybe one to two inches. I'm not trying to comb the curls out because that would just pretty much defeat the whole purpose of me twisting my hair like this. <laughs> And once I'm satisfied with how my hair looks, I'm gonna leave it and go out because I definitely went out this day. <laughs> and later on that day, when I came home, all I did was put my bonnet on, nothing special, just putting a bonnet on and going to sleep. Of course, after I wash my face and do my nighttime routine. Fast forward to day three, this twist out is still going strong. I'm gonna apply a little bit more of that Shea Moisture's coconut oil on my hair and also my scalp. And I've been playing with some hair concoctions also that I applied in my hair. But the Shea Moisture oil will definitely do. And fast forward to day six. Yes, day six. So these jumbo twists definitely held up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.